Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I gotta say, it is... fantastic. It's good to go away. It's good to have a break, but it is great to be back. I did not watch a lot of news over the 4th of July week because I like to celebrate my love for this country by not watching what's happening to it. So, <laughs> this morning, I sobered up, and everybody's still talking about Russia. But here's the thing. There is no evidence of collusion or even the desire to collude with the Russians by anyone in the Trump campaign it is something that was true 48 hours ago. <laughs> because now... Yeah. Right? We learned yesterday that on June 9th of last year, Donald Trump Jr. met with a Russian lawyer after being promised damaging information on Hillary Clinton. Wow. You, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you took the ooh right out of my mouth. You, I mean, you could knock me over with whatever you use to knock over someone who isn't the least bit surprised. <laughs> Everything with this family that you think is turns out to be the meeting took place at Trump Tower and included Jared Kushner and then-Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort and proves that at least some in the campaign were willing to accept Russian help. So, it's not a smoking gun, but it is a gun <laughs> meeting with a Russian bullet <laughs> about their mutual desire to smoke. <laughs> Pretty damning, but Don Jr. had a good explanation it was a short introductory meeting. I asked Jared and Paul to stop by. We primarily discussed a program about the adoption of Russian children. <laughs> yes, I think they were talking about the adoption of little Timmy Kislyak. <laughs> Adorable. Oh. Adorable. Won't someone... Yeah, won't you reach back. out? Someone reach out. So, in the end, much ado about nothing other than the fact that five White House advisors then confirmed that Don Jr. only took the meeting because the lawyer promised to provide damaging information on Hillary Clinton. <laughs> so, like all the most innocent people, Don Jr. offered a second explanation. I was asked to have a meeting by an acquaintance I knew from the 2013 Miss Universe pageant with an individual who I was told might have information helpful to the campaign. I was not told her name prior to the meeting. I asked Jared and Paul to attend, but I told them nothing of the substance. <laughs> Let me break that down for you. <laughs> what he just said in that press release. We're supposed to believe that during the height of the presidential campaign, on the advice of a guy he met at the Miss Universe pageant, Don Jr. said... Hey, Jared, Paul, I know you guys are a little busy right now, but I need you to come to a meeting. With who? I don't know. <laughs> About what? I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay, we're in. <laughs> now, that's... That's his story. <laughs> Happens all the time. Happens all the time. Now, uh, Don Jr. claims he didn't know her name, but it turns out she's a Kremlin-connected lawyer named Natalia Veselnitskaya. <laughs> Although she also answers to her Bond girl name, Corruption Galore. <laughs> <laughs> that sound cue was not indicated in the script here. Generally, they tell me when that's going to come. Bit. Now, remember, Donald Trump Jr. was there to receive damaging information about Hillary Clinton, but he was disappointed by Natalia Veselnitskaya <laughs> saying her statements were vague, ambiguous, and made no sense. So I assume she was immediately hired as a Trump speechwriter. <laughs> Instead, Natalia Veselnitskaya <laughs> changed the subject to Russian adoption 
And Don Jr. says, it became clear to me that this was the true agenda all along and that the claims of potentially helpful information were a pretext for the meeting. So, the excuse is, I tried to collude, but I didn't get anything. <laughs> That's like saying, yes, Your Honor, I broke into the house, but there was nothing worth stealing. So if you think about it, they were robbing me. <laughs> and... Don Jr. Don Jr. is careful to point out that my father knew nothing of the meeting or these events. So we're supposed to believe that Donald Trump had no idea what was happening at the highest levels of his own campaign. Yeah, it checks out. <laughs> and the acquaintance from Miss Universe who set up this meeting between Don Jr. and the Russian attorney is a guy named Rob Goldstone, a music publicist who on the day after Trump's election, posted a picture of himself on Instagram wearing a Russian T-shirt. <laughs> He's just... That's understandable. He's just wearing the championship merchandise. Whoa, all, the, all the Hillary T-shirts were sent to small villages in third-world countries. Whoa. And here's the thing. You cannot talk about the facts of this story without sounding like a crazy person. Because Goldstone, who set up the meeting, did it at the request of a Russian pop star he manages named Emin Agarilov, who is the son of Aris Agarilov, billionaire Russian oligarch, friend of Putin, and sponsor of Trump's 2013 Miss Universe pageant. Trump even appeared in one of Emin Agarilov's videos. Emin, let's get with it. You're always late. You're just another pretty face. I'm really tired of you. You're fired. <laughs> I got, I got a little swept. It's hard to... I gotta say, I got swept up. I did not know that the fall of Western democracy had such a fat beat. 